This video is about finding the determination of getting back after a life overturning situation. In my case, a train accident that led to my three amputations. After my accident, my odds to survive were only about one percentage. 10 days after my accident, my was, I was luckily stabled and uh, a few weeks later I was transported from the university hospital to a smaller hospital closer to my hometown. Now they drastically lowered my pain medicine and I discovered what pain is. Real pain. It's hard to describe this new feeling from my amputated limbs and even if I could describe it, I'm not sure that I want to because I have never experienced anything like this before my accident, nor after this point in life. And eventually they gave me this pain medicine pump. And on that device, I could only just push a button and immediately get some pain medicine injected into my main arteria. And this dose was so high that I passed out. And this way I could hide away from my, my pain, both physical, but also mentally. Because at this point, I'm devastated. I'm still 17 years old, uh, but my life is now in ruins. Before my accident, I was this young athletic guy with hardly no limitations. I ran the fastest in my class. I swam the fastest in my town. I was limitless. But now I'm totally helpless. My new body is like a prison cell for me. In my mind I'm still that young athletic guy and I want to move but I can't. I'm, I'm totally trapped inside myself. To give you an example I was 24-7 in the hospital bed and uh, after a few hours lying on my back I could feel it start itching on my back. I have now been way too long in the same position and I start to get bed sores. And I, 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 could, I could feel it and I wanted to change but I could not manage myself. I needed to call out to my parents living at the hospital at this point. Please help me, put me on my other side. This was how helpless I was. And it was so humiliating for me. And the absolute worst part was that I saw no way out. I only managed to, to hide from my pain and my darkest thoughts with the help from my pain medicine. But then, one day, finally, everything turns when my father enters my hospital room with a smile on his face. In his hand, he has this VHS tape. And uh, for you youngsters out there, VHS, that was before streaming even existed. So on this VHS tape, he has a TV recording from a Swedish television about a guy in the US that has been in a similar accident like mine. And immediately my thoughts lighten up. Is there really someone that has survived an accident like mine? And I watched this tape over and over again. And it's about Cameron Clapp. And in this tape, Cameron is so positive and he's living his life to the fullest, just like I did before my accident. But Cameron does it after his and with the help from prosthetics. Yeah. From this day, when I first saw that tape, I knew, I knew that one day I will be like Cameron. I also knew that it will be a long journey and it will require a lot of effort blood, 
sweat and many tears. But I knew I will get there eventually. I quickly realized that along this path I will need to face a lot of skepticism and criticism about my high goals from all kinds of people in my surrounding. They want to help by lowering my goals so I don't get disappointed if I don't succeed. But succeed I will. I know it and I have already seen it happening. At that moment I also realized that this is totally on me, totally on myself. No one will blame me if I give up or don't succeed with these high goals. But succeed I will and therefore I must do it myself. And now, 16 years later, I can look back at that moment with joy. I did succeed. And if I could meet my 16 year younger self, even he would not believe all the joy and happiness and excitement I've been through after my accident. All thanks to the inspiration from Cameron that led to my determination that if I want to achieve something, no one will make it for me. You must make it happen yourself. So this video is made for all of you out there that maybe find yourself in a hopeless situation right now. To all of you, I want to say keep on fighting. I hope this video can give you the inspiration needed to find the determination of getting back.